This video is a visualisation of work by Cook and Purdom that proposes a continuum model of tendon pathology. A simple view of tendons is that they attach muscle to bone allowing movement of a joint. However, there is more to their role and each tendon is different as it has a different function. They each have an ability to absorb and release energy like a spring and to be stiff with standing loading. These attributes allow efficient running and jumping when a tendon is loaded appropriately, it adapts by strengthening. It becomes stronger by increasing stiffness, not by becoming thicker. It is also possible to relatively unload a tendon, either when returning from injury or in the case of athletes who vary from being relatively unloaded, having appropriate load to excessively loading. The unloaded tendon becomes stress shielded, whereby the superficial portion of tendon bears too much load and the deep portion too little. The stress shielded tendon under even normal or excessive load plus or minus other factors such as bone spurs, diabetes, statin use etc can become reactive. In the same way a normal tendon when subjected to excessive load can become reactive. The reactive tendon will thicken to try and reduce stress by increasing the number of cells and matrix in the affected portion of the tendon. Although we have stages of tendinopathy, they are not absolute and here are presented as a continuum. If the load continues to be excessive, we then move along the continuum to a tendon in disrepair. Here, the tendon continues to try and thicken to protect itself, but as this occurs, we start to see separation of collagen fibers and disorganization of the cell matrix. We also see new blood vessels and nerves which may account for some of the ongoing pain. The reactive tendon or that in disrepair can move back along the continuum towards normalcy if loading is modified and controlled. However if this does not occur the tendon can become degenerative. Here we start to see cell death in the affected portion of the tendon. However, rehab can still target the unaffected of the tendon, so all is not lost. I hope this has been helpful. Again, this is adapted from the work of Cook and Purdom and has been produced by myself, Andrew Walker, physical therapist of PhysioWorks Sports and Wellness in Huntsville, Alabama. Thank you.